Why is it when I do that, it's creepy? But when Sarah Jessica Parker did it, it was <laughs> epic. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? And today, as you can see, I am in my witch phase again. <laughs> and today, there is a good reason for that, though. I'm not putting a curse on anybody today. We're gonna be taking a look at the official Hocus Pocus 2 trailer, and I can't believe it. It got released yesterday. <laughs> I'm also rocking my Hocus Pocus shirt, and um, I can't believe it. This is the best day of my life. I say that every day, and literally every day is the worst day of my life. So the official trailer for Hocus Pocus 2 was released yesterday. I wasn't expecting that at all. It just, like, appeared out of nowhere. Um, I did see the teaser trailer not too long ago. That looked amazing. It looked really kind of scary, actually, in, in the beginning part, until the witches showed up. Then it looked kind of, like, funny. It was like, oh, it was just this buildup of, like, this is actually pretty creepy. Um, so I'm excited to see this one. This is the official and it is called Hocus Pocus 2 official trailer 2022. Not long to go now, guys. Just a couple more weeks. I've waited 30 years for this moment so I can wait a few more weeks, I think. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do this. I banish thee from Salem <gasps> forever. They were right to fear thee. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's them when they were young. Happy 16th birthday, child. Oh my god, that's how they got the book! I have a gift for my favorite customers. Oh, it's big. Legend has it. It's on the 16th birthday that a witch gets her powers. The black flame Oh my god, I'm excited. Where did you get that candle? We have to get out of here, the witches will be here any second. Ah! The, the book is alive. He woke up? <gasps> oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. If we intend to live past sunrise, we have to steal their souls. Whoa, 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 wait, can we talk about this? No. <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna like electrocute him. Is she? Oh my god, the vacuum cleaner, but it's like modern. Not to freak out. The revengeful maniac obsessed with getting revenge on Salem sounds very bad for Salem. Boy, I'll say. Where did she get some salt? Why? So we taste better when they eat us? Oh, salt really does work. Whoa, that looked amazing. Okay. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? That's not six feet under. <laughs> Stop! I am a good zombie! Oh, everything is perfect! Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, that is the end of that. Holy crap. Oh. Wow, I mean, they gave out a lot in the, here in this trailer. Um, usually they just give you like little things. Like this kind of gave a lot of the plot away. Um, I mean, I, I'm assuming it's gonna be very similar to the first one anyway. It's gonna be like a group of kids accidentally summon the witches and then get chased around all through the night. Um, I imagine it's gonna be like that, but more modern. So not really like a reboot because it will be like it will follow on from the, the previous um, movie. But I feel like it will be, it's not gonna like totally disregard the first movie and just reboot. I feel like there will be, I mean, obviously, I, I don't understand, I'm kind of confused about why the, there's a black cat. I don't know if that's Binks, because if you remember at the end of the first movie, Binks was actually set free. The cat died, the cat's physical body died, and Binks' spirit was set free set free and he ended up meeting Emily and they walked off together and that's pretty much how the movie ended. So I'm a little confused on what the cat is. Maybe it's another boy trapped in there. But I do love what I see so far. It does look like Hocus Pocus, but it looks more modern. Like the vacuum cleaner things, like it's those robot vacuum cleaners that just like go by themselves. My mom has one of those. Um I can't remember exactly what they're called. But like this is obviously like a kind of a, a skit it's like taking little things that they knew everybody loved iconic scenes from the first movie 
and redoing it to make it a little more modern. Like instead of her having the big vacuum cleaner with the pull with the cord hanging down and they were like pulling on it, um, there she's just like on two vacuum cleaners, I think, like two of those round robot ones. But I love how they've kept so many of the little things, like Winifred singing to her book and going book, and like the book opens and there's that orange beam that like lets Winifred wherever she is know exactly where her book is. That I think was pretty cool. And I noticed the Sanderson house had like buildings next. It's got like neighbors now. Like they've built around the house. That's pretty insane. Like in the movie, it was on a plot of land on its own and it was like fenced off. It was surrounded by like the walls. And now it seems to be like there was like a tram or something in, in front, right in front of the house. So I don't know. I, I think it's just going to be like a more modernized version it's going to be like real into the future not exactly the same as the first movie but i feel like they're going to try to modernize the little things that everybody loved but they're going to try and keep everything in there the scenes where they were flying just then looked amazing like there was that one scene when she's like we're gonna run amok and sarah's like amok come up come up and there she's like swaying but the city below looked insane and then that shot where winifred like flew down and like like an eagle catching its prey swooped up one of the girls and just flew off with her that looked really amazing oh man am i excited to see this but guys it's literally a couple more weeks and then this is getting released on disney plus let me know in the comment section are you going to watch it? Are you excited? Smash a like on the video and I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams.